Give your life to God if you haven't. What are you truly benefiting from not living for God? Myself, my life was worse when I chose to purposely go against some of the rules of God. Yes, I believe I had more stuff, but what is more stuff, earthly items, if you have less mental stability? What is more stuff if you are constantly depressed, angry, angry, hateful, bitter? Like, what can those things do for you if your mental state of mind is unstable? Like, how can you really enjoy stuff if your mind isn't all the way right. And that is the problem I had back then. And hopefully, hopefully, I don't have that problem now. Hopefully. <laughs> I think there are so many benefits when you live for God. Yes. You still may have problems. Yes, you may have to reap what you have sown, but I think there is security when you follow the rules of God, the rules that apply to us. You may say living for God is boring, you may say living, living for God is so restrictive, but how are you benefiting if you are going against the rules of God and if bad things are happening to you because of it? How is it benefiting, benefiting, benefiting you? How is it? If the more wrong I do, the more bad that happens to me, how am I benefiting from it? So if living for God is restrictive, if it is for my own good, <laughs> so be it. If living for God is so-called boring, so be it. Because if living for God is going to benefit me more than trying to go against his rules, let me live for God. I have spoken to some people and I have I have spoken to some people about things of God and I have contacted some people about some things of God. And I think one of the things that come up often, pretty much when you are not living for God, your life gets worse. Pretty much, that is what I would say almost all of them would communicate to me about that subject. So, how much fun are you really having if you are reaping what you are sowing? Let me share this with you. Back in my past, I used to do bad things more often, I guess I can say. 
And around that time, and if I am remembering correctly, I was not happy. I was, I would say, I don't think I was happy, but I believe I was in the middle of happy and really depressed. Like, kind of in a numb feeling, if that makes any sense. Or I would say, I guess to make this more easy to understand, or I guess I can say, I was bitter, hateful, like with a bad attitude, not content. Even though I was going to bars and I guess clubs, if that is what they are called, I was drinking, I was messing with women in the bad way. I guess some people may believe that is what is going to make you happy. But for me, it did not really make me happy. I was doing wrong. I was doing what I thought would bring me happiness. But I still, I believe I still felt empty inside. I was having sex. I was being rude to people, cussing people out. I was getting drunk. I guess I was turning up. <laughs> but that did not make me happy. I don't think it did. I believe I was still empty inside. So if I tried that type of life already and if it did not do really much for me for my benefit i guess i can say why should i continue in that lifestyle man why let me try something different if something isn't working for me why continue on that path if I already know it doesn't work for me, let me serve God. Let me try something new. Right? Yes, I believe I get tempted to do some bad things I used to do in my past. But if I think about what I've been through, it is not worth it. Huh? Give your life to God now while you still have the chance. Let me stop here. God bless you.